This is a video from section 7.2, the directions say to evaluate the integral. So we're going to look at some more examples in this video. So we're going to look at example one. Suppose it says the integral of tangent squared x cosine cubed x dx. Now, tangents and cosines don't go together, but sines and cosines do. And so what I would do is I would write tangent squared x is sine squared x over cosine squared x. And then I'm going to multiply by cosine cubed x dx. But if you notice, I could then rewrite this as the integral of sine squared x times cosine x dx. And the cosine x has already been peeled off, and everything else is written in terms of sines. So I'm going to let u be sine of x. du is cosine x dx. So this turns into the integral of u squared du, which is one-third u cubed plus c. But remember that u is sine of x. And so this turns into one-third sine cubed x plus c. And that was example one. Let's take a look at example two. So for example two, we have the following. We have the integral of tangent squared x plus tangent to the fourth x dx. I would not break up this integral. And this is one of those integrals that just takes some experience. What I would do is I would factor out a tangent squared x. Now, the thing that I'm noticing is when I factor out a tangent squared x, I get 1 plus tangent squared x dx. But then I notice, oh, 1 plus tangent squared x is secant squared x. So I'm going to write this as tangent squared x secant squared x dx. Now we have tangents and secants and a secant squared has already been picked off and everything else has been written in terms of tangent. And so this allows me to let u be equal to tangent x. du is secant squared x dx. So it's again another u substitution. And so this is the integral of u squared du. And this is one-third u cubed plus c. But remember that u is tangent x, right? And so the answer here, for example, 2, is one-third tangent cubed x plus c. Let's take a look at example 3. For example three, we're going to do um, this one. Suppose I give you the following. Suppose I had tangent to the fifth x, secant cubed x dx. So my gut reaction is when I see something like this, what I'm going to do is let's just try something. So I'm going to pick off a secant x tangent x, okay, off, off of this integrand. And I have four of the tangents left over. So I'm going to write this as tangent to the fourth x times 
secant squared x dx. But what do I like about that? What I like about that is I know that the derivative of secant x is secant x tangent x dx, right? If I do the differential, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite tangent to the fourth x in terms of secants. So I'm going to write this as secant x tangent x times secant squared x minus 1 to the second power times secant squared x dx. Just like this. And watch what happens. I'm going to let u be secant x. du is secant x tangent x dx. And so this turns into the following. You get u squared minus 1 to the second power times u squared du. So I'm going to square out u squared minus 1. So you get u to the fourth minus 2u squared plus 1. And this whole thing gets multiplied by u squared du. And so I'm going to distribute the u squared in. And you get u to the sixth minus 2u to the fourth plus u squared du. And then, I, and then I'm in business. So this is 1 seventh u to the seventh minus 2 fifths u to the fifth plus 1 third u cubed plus c. But remember that u is secant x. And so this is 1 seventh secant to the seventh x minus 2 fifths secant to the fifth x plus one third secant cubed x plus c. And that's how you would do example three. So it's just a matter of saving off one of the secant tangents and rewriting everything else in terms of secant. Um, let's take a look at example four. Suppose I, oh, let's call it four. Hold on. So what if I give you this one? What if I give you the integral? So we, we still got to do definite integrals. So if I have the integral from zero to pi over four of tangent to the fourth t dt, dt, I'm going to pick off a tangent squared t. So I have tangent squared t times tangent squared t dt. Okay. Now, so this is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of tangent squared t times secant squared t minus 1 dt. So I'm going to distribute that tangent squared t and then break up the integral. So you have the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of tangent squared t secant squared t dt minus the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of tangent squared t. dt, by the way. Now, let's take this to the next page. So we have the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of tangent squared t, secant squared t, dt, minus the integral from 0 to pi over 4. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to write tangent squared t as secant squared t minus 1. 
So I'm going to write this as secant squared t minus 1 dt. Now, by a u substitution, I know that u is tangent t, and so du would be secant squared t dt. So I want you guys to imagine that I'm integrating u squared du, okay? And so it turns out that this integral is one-third tangent cubed t from 0 to pi over 4. Okay, now if you're not sure, on this line, I'm going to let u be tangent t. That's how you would do that. And then I'm going to subtract. Now, this is going to be tangent t minus t from 0 to pi over 4. If I plug pi over 4 in for t, tangent of pi over 4 is 1. So we get 1 third minus plug, plug pi over 4 in for t. We get 1 minus pi over 4. And if I plug 0 in for t, I get 0. Tangent, tangent of 0 is 0. And when I plug 0 in for t, I get 0. And so this is 1 third minus 1 plus pi over 4. So what I did was I distributed the negative in. And so the answer here is pi over 4 minus 2 thirds. And again, this would be an instructor question. You may want to ask if your instructor wants you to get a common denominator and write it as a single as a single. Uh, expression. So, so that was example four. So let's do one more example for this video. Uh, for the next example, I'm going to do this one. We're going to end on this. So suppose I had this one. X secant X tangent X dx. So this is a classic integration by parts problem, okay? Now, I have a product of two functions, and the two functions are x and secant x tangent x. Now, recall, the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, so we need to identify a u in a dv. Now, what's user-friendly is if I call u x, the derivative is of x is 1. And so that's going to be a lot easier to manage than if I try to integrate x, because if I integrate x, I get 1 half x squared plus some constant, of course, which makes it a lot harder to manage. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u equal x. And I'm going to let dv be secant x tangent x dx. So du is dx and v is secant x. So I'm going to go uv so like a zigzag, uv minus the integral of v du. So the integral of x secant x tangent x dx is x secant x minus the integral of secant x dx. And so the answer here is x secant x Minus, now the integral of secant x dx is the natural log of secant x plus tangent x plus c. And that's how you would do example 5. And that'll conclude this video for section 7.2, where we did five more examples of trig.